Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. Right now, I'm holding a 3.5 IDE type hard disk drive. This is a 40 pin um, IDE type hard drive. If you look at the pin notes in here, there's a 40 of them. That's why they call 40 pin. And this side is the Molex connector. And yeah, these four pins on that side. So if your computer is using IDE and you want to use a SATA hard drive, by the way, the SATA is uh, the SATA hard drive looks like this type of hard disk. Let's open it up first. This hard disk drive that I'm going to show to you is 4 terabyte. This is a SATA type and the size is 3.5. Now originally this is for our CCTV, that's why you can see the brand name is Dahua. Most of the CCTV uh, IP cameras are Dahua. And the, I think they're also manufacturing or maybe branding hard drives to their um, company name too. It's 4 terabyte as you can see. If you look at the pin closely, it has a pin for data and power. Okay, if you look and compare these two types of hard drive, the left side is the SATA drive and the right side, the top one is the IDE type hard disk drive. So you can see the difference between the connectors. The SATA on the left has 15 pin connector. They have the same size, the same di dimension. Only the connectors are different. Now, if I want to use the SATA on a, uh, an old computer, you need a converter like this one. This is the IDE to SATA converter. On this side, you will see it's IDE to SATA version 1.2. I didn't see the version 1 yet. So, you have the Molex connector here, the port and the IDE connector for the 40 pin ribbon. I have a computer that is really old and it's only using IDE ribbon and IDE hard drive. Now I need this to <coughs> for me to be able to use the SATA hard drive to my old computer. But I'm not going to use the 4 terabyte. I can just buy around uh, 1 terabyte and below. But if you look at this 4 terabyte here, it is also compatible with this um, converter. There, it's really, it's really compatible. So on this side, you will go, we're going to use the pin or the ribbon cable that is an IDE. I can also use this um, smaller size SSD, which is also SATA, right? So instead of me using one terabyte, this is more maybe uh, 
more compatible with my old computer because of the size. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect this um, SATA to this converter and place it inside my hard, I mean, computer. So instead of me throwing away the old computer or post machine, <clears throat> thanks to this converter, now I'll be able to use the old computer or the old post machines that uses IDE hard drive. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day, everyone.